Hi guys and welcome to your post-session interview from your panel on what's on the minds of thought leaders from Hedna LA. What would be some of the three key takeaways that you'd like the audience to take with them from the discussion and those that weren't there? What would be some of the key points that you think were really the most important ones? I think a, I think a major one is around personalization and how to create an experience that really separates you from um, the pack. And this is becoming increasingly important, I think you guys would all agree, because of some of the macro things that are going on, whether it is that um, there's an oversupply of inventory or whether it's because customer acquisition costs are increasing because of distribution. How you actually generate a unique experience is important. I think personalization was a big theme. How do you feel that hotels can best prepare for it? It's There's so many different factors that, that evolve around it. For example, Hilton, how, how do you guys manage that process? Well, I, I think about it in a couple ways. First of all, you got to know your customer. Mm. Form a relationship with them that allows them to get to know you and, and you get to know them. Second is have the technology to enable it. We have team members that are ready to go that are ready to deliver that experience, but they need a little bit of prompting and help along the way. And ultimately, that comes down to having that direct relationship with your customer. And so if you think about knowing the customer, making sure our team members are equipped to deliver it, and it all starts with this idea that you get to know your customer personally to be able to do that personalized experience. Yeah, right. And giving the team members the latitude to be able to mm -hmm. deliver the service in the way that they believe is, is true to the need at the moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I think also too, just in some of the different vantage points that we were sharing is also understanding the evolution of the customer. Because the customer that we have today might have different needs or desires in the future and there may be a customer that's up and coming that we haven't quite connected with yet. And so there was some conversation about demographics and psychographics and I think that's going to be very, very important in the service industry and what people are choosing to spend their money on from a service perspective because services automatically are more personal as it is. So I think that's going to be a big component. A lot of research should probably be invested in, in that this regard. Is a, this is a critical moment for defining what a brand is, mm -hmm. right? Because Absolutely. Because this, this is what will determine who commands a premium, who plays in their space, and whatever price point, whatever product type, ultimately comes down to do customers love you rationally more than the rational sum of the parts. Mm -hmm. right. Totally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. I would uh, add that having the right insights, because we know that, that travel brands and hotels in particular have a ton of data but do they have the data they need and mm -hmm. are they able to use the data they need and importantly, are they aware of the data they don't have mm. but, right. need, but can contribute to the business? Mm -hmm. Just um, uh, pivoting to another topic that I think um, it's important for people to really start taking a look at is um, how we're doing things today. So today, you know, hoteliers are very often stuck in kind of how we're structured, how we hire people, how mm -hmm. we set our organizations up and I think it's super important that you know going back to that cost of acquisition um, you know with the rise of cost of acquisition owners are making less money uh, and but yet we're still setting up our teams in the same, same exact way. ways mm -hmm. than we did 20 30 100 years ago yeah, yeah. and it's really time that hoteliers take a step back and take a look where it makes the most sense to invest their resources, mm. financial mm. resources. And something we didn't get to on the panel, I, I think this is absolutely the year of sustainability. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Communities. Yeah. And so I think yeah. customers will not give a premium for it, they'll demand a brand yeah. to make right. sure that you're giving absolutely. back to your community, mm -hmm. taking care of your people, and cutting your yes. environmental impact, mm -hmm. whether yeah. that's right. plastics or carbon Anything offsets. Else. This is the mm -hmm. year when I think you know it's, it's sort of put up or shut up for brands yeah. uh, to deliver what customers are ex absolutely expecting uh, us to do. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, also has a big cost impact as well. I think if you think about sustainability, even as a lever for improving unit economics of a business is interesting, right? So at, at, at a place like Sonder, um, how we actually deliver water versus via plastics or not right. is right. like actually an interesting, maybe in the short term it's not a cost saving measure, but in the long term you will actually have um, uh, uh, dollars back from making those investments mm -hmm. as right. well. So it's 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 actually can serve as two points. And I think about the win-win opportunities, like I think about our digital key, for example, at Hilton. We've opened up 85 million doors, which frees up our team members to do all kinds of other stuff. Yeah. At the same time, that's 40 million tons of plastic we haven't had to put back in landfills from key totally. cards. Right. Yeah. So yeah. you can right. do the right thing and still do right by the business. Right. Right. In exactly. the short term, there might be some change management to work through, but ultimately using the technology to deliver a better customer experience, empower your team members to deliver that great experience, and ultimately think about the community and the environment. I think that's the win-win uh, combination yeah. for next that, And that's the evolution of the customer, right? That's, that's us absolutely. having the responsibility to understand what the customer is looking for and what is needed. You know, one of the things that I I think will become more and more important is going to be education for younger clients that we have that are traveling with their parents. Right. Nobody in the industry is really touching that idea of interaction or immersion in the local community as an education experience for kids. And that's something that is critically 
important, especially in the U.S. where the age of women giving birth is becoming higher and higher and higher, as well as adoptions. Yeah. There's a whole other component around that, and that's family. It's a family union, which yeah, is what definitely. a lot of folks are, are doing for vacations and so on and so forth, and nobody's really kind of scratched that yet. Okay. Internships for over 18, yes. <laughs> yeah. But the other things, no, not yet. You yeah. know, let's, yeah. let's teach yeah. as well and create loyalty yeah. there. Yeah. Right? Okay, very well. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, Great to have you. you. I know some of you have to run, so I appreciate your time and uh, all the best. Thank you.